All right, so today we're looking at rounding decimals to two decimal places. So if we look at a question that says, let's look at this number, 5.7381. Okay, so they want us to round it to two decimal places. Now, first important thing is, if they say they want it to 2DP, which is decimal places, that means you need to look at number three. Okay, so if they tell you two decimal places, you look at the next number. So, two decimal places is here, isn't it? Underline it. Now, I want you to actually do this, okay? I want you to underline the second number, right? Then I want you to circle the third number. So, they tell you they want you to round to two decimal places. You underline it. And I want you to circle the number on the very right-hand side of it, which is 8. Now, certain numbers have enough power to push a number up. Certain numbers do not have enough power and the number stays the same. Okay, so if we have a look, the numbers are, if we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you can include 0, okay. The numbers to here, these ones here, are weak numbers. They do not have enough power to change. But from 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, from 5 until 9, they are powerful numbers. They can make a change. So, if we go back to our example, we've underlined 3, we've circled the number next to it, which is 8. 8 is a powerful number, so it can change that 3 to hop up to another number, okay? What does it hop up to? It hop up, hops up to a 4. So, the number goes from 5.7 and it changes to 4. But now, because the 8 gave its power to the number 3 to make it 4, it dies and the rest of the numbers die with it. So the number is just, the answer will give you 5.74 is your answer. Let's try another example. Let's push these up here. Okay, let's do an example that says 12.0516. Wow, what a long number. Okay, and they want you to round it to two decimal places. So what do we do? We underline the second decimal place and we circle the number next to it. Right. Now, can the number next to it, which is number four, can it, does it have enough power to change that number five? Number four is not a powerful number, so it cannot change it. But it tries. So because it tries, it does. They all die and the 5 remains the same. So your answer then would be 12.05. Now I want you to go ahead and try these. They are just two decimal places, so I really think you can give it a good shot. <laughs> 